Father, we thank you for this joyous day. We thank you for your light that has entered into child's and offered life. Please bless them with the inner gifts of trust, compassion, forgiveness, and truth, that they may live and grow together in love and peace. Amen. Chow and Austin were both attending the University of Alabama in Huntsville, working toward engineering degrees. Austin was working on his mechanical engineering side of things while Chow was working on the chemical engineering. Initially, it was simply a connection of two students doing what serious students do. They were both studious, they were both very much engaged in the community. Chow, at this point, having no interest in romance. <laughs> Austin didn't have a lot of interest in romance until he saw Chow. <laughs> but Austin had a hard time getting Chow's attention in a romantic way. But that changed. Chow lost the ring. A precious lost class ring that had great sentimental value to her was lost in an event. Austin, who was already enamored, enamored with Cal, naturally moved in to search for her ring. <laughs> and indeed, he found it. And he then had Cal. So now we're here. Cal and Austin are focused on new rings. Ring symbolizing the love that grew from a friendship, from a lost ring to a wedding ring. It is the desire of everyone, Chow and Austin, that you have a very happy and successful marriage. But a good marriage is something that has to be created. It doesn't just happen. It has to be engineered. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's in no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with a honeymoon, but should continue throughout all the years. It's having a mutual sense of value and common objectives. It's doing things for each other, not in the attitude of beauty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It's speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It's not looking for perfection in each other. It's cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and I cannot emphasize enough a good sense of humor. It's having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It's common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Regarding the attributes of love, Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 13, love is patient, love is kind. It doesn't envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. 
Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Love never fails. So often, you take Chow to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage. You promise to love her, to comfort her, to honor and keep her for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness, in health, forsaking all of us, to be faithful only unto her for as, both, for as long as you both shall live. Now, you take Austin to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage. You promise to love him, to comfort him, to honor him, to keep him for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in health and in sickness, for thinking all of us for as long as you both shall live. Ruth 1, 16 through 17 says, But Ruth replied, Don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where, I, where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people. And your God will be my God. Also, I believe you have a special vow now here. Yeah. I know this sounds cliche, but I really am a lucky man in the world. Throughout life, we make so many choices, and those choices bring us to new places and new people. Any one of these could completely change the course of our lives. When I think back of all the choices that brought you to me, I'm blown away. We started our lives 9,000 miles apart, and now you and I are both right here, right now, about to start the next chapter of our lives together. And I Today, our lives and families become one. I know how much your family means to you, so I'll start my promises with this. Through barriers of distance and language, I promise to always love your family as I I will always take care of them when they need help, and even though I'm at my most comfortable here in the South, I will always be your travel partner when we go to the other side of the planet to visit your family with me. I promise to always keep you safe and sheltered, to keep you warm every night, to clean the house even when I don't feel like it, and to take care of every bug that the girls don't take care of. <laughs> I promise to always acknowledge how much you do for me and my family, and to do my best to do just as much for you. I'm sure everyone here knows who wrote the thank you cards of their <laughs> Most of all, I want to say this. I promise I'll always be your confidant, your big supporter, and your best friend. I promise to always face our challenges and struggles together, no matter how big or small. If things seem brightest, I promise to rejoice in those times with you. And if things seem darkest, I'll always stay reminded of the joy and love that you share. I promise to always nurture your dreams and do all I can to help you. You are my greatest love. I'm one and only, and I promise to love you with my whole heart as long as I have it. I'm yours, and that's it for us. Now? Thank you. 
often and tell. When joy comes, may they share it together. When sorrow threatens, may they bear it together. In gladness or in tears, in sunshine or in shadows, may they draw ever closer to each other and to you. Please grant them patience, gentleness, forbearance, and understanding, and protect their home from all those forces that would break it apart. We ask for help, long life, for the fulfillment of every good dream. May their love continue through life and finally be blended into eternal life. Give them such fulfillment and mutual affection that they may reach out in love and concern for others and grant that all married persons who have witnessed these vows find their lives strengthened and their loyalties confirmed. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Best part of the ceremony. For as much as you, Austin, and Chow have stood before me and before this wonderful crowd of your closest relatives and loved ones and friends, you've joined your hands, you've exchanged rings, and exchanged very powerful words of love and commitment to each other. It becomes my pleasure, pleasure and privilege by the power vested in me by God in the state of Alabama. You ready, Chow? To pronounce you husband and wife. That means that Austin can now kiss his wife. I have the privilege and the honor of introducing for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Austin and Cal Martin. Please welcome them. Woo!